Got my bearings in the mail. It's only uh, fourteen ninety five, free shipping off eBay, of course. Pretty nice looking, pretty small. Didn't realize how small they were gonna be. Pretty nice, but that's what the guide says. So that's what gets ordered. All right. Let me show you a close-up of one of these things. How the bearing is going to be used. So the Reprap uses these bearings as like a sort of pulley system where the belt's on it. You got a nut. You got these fender washers so the belt stays in place. Then you got your washer and then your bearings. So you're Got like a track for the uh, the belt to ride on. Then you just reverse the process. Got a washer. Got a fender nut. Washer, fender washer, whatever. And a nut that I can't put on. Cause I'm trying to look through the camera. There we go. All right. So you got your bearing right in the center there. The two fender washers keep the belt in place. So it just rides in the center. And then this will actually be mounted through here with the motor mounted right here where the belt's coming off the motor over to this, keeping it straight. So now to actually rebuild this, it goes into here. I'm going to put the bar in that goes right here now. It's going to have the pulley here and these two support structures for here and here. It's going to hold these smooth rods that go all the way back and that's where the printing tray rests on. That goes back and forth. Okay. Gotta remember, always put washers against your plastic. If you don't have a washer there, you could risk cracking your plastic. So I hear, I don't know. Eh, I guess it would be possible if you really cranked it down there or whatever. But always build it to spec when you're building something you don't know. After you build it once or twice, you can add minor improvements or do your own style unless you really know what you're doing because as of right now I don't even know what kind of software this thing runs on I don't know more about the electronics but I'll learn not worried, not worried about that yay this must be an awesome video to watch online. It's so entertaining, right? Watching me screw washers in and nuts. I'm looking into being able to speed the videos up. I'm using the built-in Windows video editor. And I looked online and it said it should be able to speed video up, but then I go to do it in mine and the option's not even there. So I go to the video editing section and there's there's no video editing section. And it tells me to right click on one of the portions of the video. Right, I can't. It doesn't pull up anything. I don't know, I guess must have a crappier version of what that guide was written for, so... If anybody knows any free software that will speed videos up, just shoot me a link so I can make these a little bit more entertaining for you people, or less tedious to watch, because then my hands will move a mile a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm having trouble fitting all my stuff right here. So, ta-da! I didn't even think about that. Hopefully, that's like helpful to someone out there because that was 
really aggravating trying to fit this freaking nut over here with no space on it. Oh, I got plenty of room. Everything is aligned. I got everything in place for the smooth rods for this side. The motor mounts where it's going to be. So the motor will be right here. And the, uh, where is it? This pulley will spin right there, and that will drive the uh, belt. It's going to be offset down to here. The belt's going to be riding up from the pulley over to a pulley way back here that I'm going to install right now. This side's a lot easier. All it's got is the uh, two supports for the smooth rods and the pulley. I don't have to deal with the motor bracket. So, as always, wash it first. I'm going to build the next pulley system. So we got a fender washer. we got a regular washer. we got a bearing. Got a regular washer. And another fender washer. And that's that. That's the pulleys. Pretty simple. Especially if you already built it five different times with the freaking videos that you're doing on, radio, on YouTube. God. <laughs> okay, so if you have an electric drill, you can take it and throw it on to your threaded rod. Don't do it too tight though, because that will screw up your threads and then you'll be up shit's creek. There you go. Good way to move your rods. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. I hope that helps someone with their reprap build. Because that just... That was awesome. There we go. Everything's aligned. We got one more nut to put on for this bar. And that'll be good. Now you might be thinking, haha, you put this thing all together, but you still gotta take it all apart to put this belt back on. Nope. The belt is actually just one single piece, not in a loop, and it connects to the actual printing tray. So you don't gotta worry about that. All I gotta do now is install my smooth bars to go all the way down. So let's start doing that. Since the smooth bar doesn't have any nuts on it, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is shove it in there and get it going. But this thing just gets stuck every time, so I actually have to charge my drill so I can drill these out. So that means I have to wait and I can't get all excited to continue building this one tonight. So. That's it for tonight, folks.